I call this short little video importing test grades into D2L the fast and easy way. Now, if you're like me, the way that you import grades is to actually, when you have an exam that you've already got graded and sorted and everything's alphabetized, you go ahead and first you do everything in Excel. I put everything in Excel because it allows me to calculate curves and figure out standard deviations and max and mins and all kinds of things. And then you have to go back into every single one of these and type in a number, hit the tab button one five or six times, then hit in the next one and keep doing that way. And it is a pain in the butt as you're flipping through exams, putting in the scores, hitting the tab button, you keep doing that. It becomes a real pain. Uh, so if we can import things into D2L, that will make things a whole lot easier. So here's how we do it go to the grades option in D2L and do the export. Now, here's what we need. We have to export things first so that we have a list of everybody. And the key things in Excel or, or in D2L are going to be the username and then the last name and first name so that you can match those up with the scores. Pick only one grade item, the thing that you're going to enter. So in this case, it's exam one for me. And what that's going to do is create a blank column for exam one that has the correct name the way D2L is going to look for it. So then we click export and open. And we can go ahead and open this file and it's going to look like this. Now what you're probably going to do is because you have a stack of exams or actually you have the stack of exams, you have this all in an Excel file right now, but it's probably not sorted like this. I'm not sure how this is sorted in D2L but we need to do select all and we need to go to data and sort this so first sort it by last name and then add a level and sort it by first name and now all my data is sorted nice and alphabetically the way that I probably have my Excel file done at this point you can go ahead and you can take the curved exam grades that you already have that you probably have in some Excel file in a straight column and just copy the column and paste them right into here I'm gonna set this up as a nice little random number just so that there's data for everything and I'm gonna fill in all of that and paste these so now I've got these are all my exam grades to get this back into D2L is the trick because to get it back into D2L you have to get rid of the last name and first name those were just for you to make sure you could identify people but that's gonna screw things up with D2L with D2L all you want is the username the grade item that you have and the end of line indicator that's also important it needs to know when it's going to stop and move on to the next person once you have this go ahead and save this as a file I'm just going to save this I'm going to call this example you can see I was already doing it before so here's my example file it's going to tell me it's going to warn me against saving it as a CSV file but that's what I need so don't save it as a word file you have it as a CSV file that's all you need now, it's there. Go back into D2L. Now go to Import Grades. And it doesn't even ask you exactly which grade item you're importing because that's already created there. So find your example CSV file that has your grades in it and click Next. And it's going to give a nice warning, which is that there's actually no errors or warnings, which is good. We can progress. It gives you a little preview. It says here, for example, that Abigail is goes from a zero grade to a 90.02 gives you a preview of what everybody's getting and you can just go ahead and import that and voila all my grades are in so instead of having to type these out hand by hand by hand with a class of 50 students it'll probably take you a couple minutes uh, you can get this done in 15-20 seconds